Welcome back to the Bobby King Iraqi Dinar channel. It's your host, Bobby King, bringing you the latest updates straight from Iraq. Big news today. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's get started. On November 8, 2024, a significant diplomatic development took place that could reshape Iraq's relationship with the United States and potentially impact the global financial landscape. U.S. President-elect Donald Trump expressed his eagerness to meet with Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sadani soon, following a congratulatory phone call between the two leaders. The conversation, held on the heels of Trump's victory in the 2024 presidential election, signaled an era of renewed dialogue between the two nations. The timing of this interaction, coupled with the potential implications for Iraq's economic reforms, makes this a particularly interesting moment for those invested in the Iraqi dinar and the future of Iraq's financial strategy. Let's dive into the details of this phone call, the context surrounding it, and what it means for Iraq's currency, the US's geopolitical goals, and the broader Middle Eastern economic dynamics. A historic call. Trump's warm congratulations to al-Sadani The conversation between Donald Trump and Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sadani on November 8, 2024, was both ceremonial and strategic. During the call, al-Sadani extended his congratulations to Trump for winning the U.S. election and expressed his confidence in the American people's decision to re-elect the president. Al-Sadani, who has been working on strengthening Iraq's relationship with the United States, emphasized the importance of the ties between the two nations in fostering stability and progress in the Middle East. Trump, known for his populist foreign policy stance, reiterated his commitment to peace and stability in the region, highlighting the importance of maintaining strong relations with Iraq. His phone call was not only a diplomatic gesture but also a clear signal of his intent to prioritize partnerships with Middle Eastern nations, particularly Iraq, as he prepares for his second term in office. One of the most telling aspects of the conversation was Trump's expressed desire to meet with al-Sadani in person soon. This could signify a turning point in the strategic and economic relationships between the US and Iraq. Such a meeting would offer a platform for the two leaders to discuss mutual interests, including regional security, economic reforms, and Iraq's currency policies, which have become increasingly important in global financial discussions. Trump's support and influence in the Middle East Donald Trump has always had a significant influence in the Middle East, particularly through his policies aimed at reducing American military involvement in the region while focusing on economic partnerships. His previous administration was known for its America First approach, which involved leveraging economic incentives and diplomatic outreach to foster peace and stability. One of the key elements of Trump's appeal in the Middle East, particularly in countries like Iraq, has been his promise of peace and economic cooperation. His tenure saw significant engagement with Arab nations, and his second term is expected to continue that trajectory. This is evident in the overwhelming support Trump received from Arab voters, especially in states like Michigan, where his message of peace resonated deeply. For many in the Arab world, Trump's approach was seen as more favorable than traditional military-driven interventions. Iraq's economic transition and the U.S. role the relationship between the U.S. and Iraq is not just about political stability, it is also about economic cooperation. Iraq, which has been undergoing significant economic reforms under Prime Minister al-Sadani, is in the midst of a currency transition that could have profound implications for its future financial stability. Al-Sadani's government is focused on digitalizing Iraq's financial systems, modernizing the banking infrastructure, and preparing for greater international integration. One of the most significant reforms being pursued is the digitization of currency transactions, with an emphasis on reducing the use of physical cash. This initiative aligns with Iraq's broader goal of transitioning to a more modern and competitive economy. The United States, through entities like the U.S. Treasury and global financial institutions, plays a key role in facilitating this transition, particularly through its involvement in the Central Bank of Iraq's financial operations. The Iraqi Dinar. A key focus for both nations for those invested in the Iraqi Dinar, the developments between Iraq and the United States are of particular interest. The Iraqi Dinar has long been a subject of speculation and interest among global investors, 
especially since the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Over the years, the Iraqi dinar has experienced fluctuating values, influenced by a variety of factors including political instability, oil prices, and economic reforms. Under Prime Minister al-Sadani's leadership, Iraq has been taking steps towards stabilizing its currency, reducing dependency on the U.S. dollar, and fostering greater confidence in the dinar. The reforms include measures to control inflation, boost domestic production, and increase the liquidity of the dinar in international markets. Trump's desire to meet with al-Sadani could signal a future where Iraq's currency transition is closely linked to broader U.S. financial and geopolitical strategies. The U.S. has significant influence over global currency markets, and its support for Iraq's economic reforms could provide the country with the stability it needs to position the dinar as a more reliable currency in the Middle East. The geopolitical context, U.S. interests in Iraq's stability The geopolitical landscape in the Middle East has been shifting, with Iraq playing a pivotal role in regional stability. The U.S.'s interest in Iraq is not limited to economic factors alone security concerns are also paramount. Iraq has long been a critical partner in the U.S.-led coalition against terrorism, particularly in combating ISIS. However, Iraq's internal political stability and economic health are also of strategic importance to the United States, especially as both countries look to address the influence of rival powers like Iran. Iraq, with its vast oil reserves and strategic location, is a key player in the regional balance of power. For the U.S., ensuring that Iraq remains stable and aligned with Western economic policies is essential for maintaining influence in the region. Trump's administration will likely seek to expand on the economic cooperation initiated during his first term, reinforcing Iraq's role as a key partner in the broader Middle Eastern strategy. Trump's vision for Middle Eastern peace and economic cooperation One of the defining features of Trump's foreign policy has been his focus on fostering peace through economic cooperation, rather than military intervention. In the Middle East, this approach has resonated particularly well, as many countries have been seeking to reduce their dependency on foreign military assistance and instead focus on sustainable economic growth. Iraq, with its complex political landscape and ongoing recovery from years of conflict, is in a unique position to benefit from this shift. By meeting with Prime Minister al-Sadani, Trump has the opportunity to solidify a partnership based not only on security but on long-term economic cooperation. For Iraq, this could mean access to new financial resources, increased investment, and a greater role in the global economic order. For the United States, Strengthening ties with Iraq could provide a buffer against the growing influence of Iran and enhance its strategic position in the region. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.